Samsung has made another oopsie. What's up guys? So this year has not been entirely smooth for Samsung. There's been some healthy dose of criticism going on, but none of the issues have angered people more than this. Apparently, Samsung of all people is running ads now heavier than ever on their Galaxy phones. Most of Samsung's stock-based applications are reportedly showing off ads. Now, I have personally seen this on my Galaxy Z Flip and some of my mid-range phones. Ads on Samsung Galaxy phones are going on for a while but now people are finally talking about this and raising their voice. There was some weird ad integration like this guy who has a Galaxy S20 is still getting an ad for it. On most Samsung devices Samsung pushed the notification for their flagship phones highlighting some of the key features even if you have that flagship phone it doesn't matter. They've been promoting other services in their stock applications but none of these examples have made people more pissed than this. A freaking TikTok ad in Samsung Pay application this is where people people I guess lost their cool and right now there is a change.org petition going on that asked Samsung to stop posting ads on their One UI skin. It was mentioned by someone on Twitter that One UI 2.5 weather application has even bigger advertisement banners. Some people even said that Samsung will add lock screen ads in the future but that turned out to be fake. In my opinion it's not terrible like they don't spam you or anything but it's now slowly becoming a problem especially with Samsung raising the pricing people are starting starting to really be critical of Samsung and if they find some flaw there will be some consequence to pay for. I mean Samsung should not be doing this at all considering how big they are they're literally the biggest smartphone manufacturer in the world and I mean doing something like this doesn't suit them. So I hope Samsung listens to our criticism. Also in the news regarding the Galaxy S21 it's been reported that Samsung will probably not gonna use the BOE OLED display. It was being reported that Samsung could use a BOE OLED OLED display in order to cut the cost for the cheaper Galaxy S21 flagship but turns out the BOE displays are not up to the standard of Samsung's OLED panel which is why Samsung will most likely stick to its own OLED panel. Now losing the BOE deal doesn't mean that we're not gonna see the cheaper flagship S21 model there's still a chance of that happening because Samsung is actually making the display for the 5.4 inch iPhone 12 so that could still very well happen. Overall it's a nice move because it shows that Samsung has certain quality levels when it comes to the display that other companies just can't match. Also in the news, we have some display specs leak for the Galaxy Fold 2. It's featuring a 7.7 inch internal display with 120Hz refresh rate and a 6.23 inch display on the outside which might have a 60Hz display. By far the biggest change will be the addition of the punch hole on the internal display that is a much better implementation compared to the original Galaxy Fold. An even bigger change than that is a 6.23 inch display on the outside of the Fold 2. I mean, this time around, the Fold 2 will truly be a modern flagship slash tablet combo. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Honestly, it's super, super exciting. I would say even more exciting than the Galaxy Note 20. Now, Note 20, along with the Fold 2, Z Flip 5G, Galaxy Watch 3, all the stuff is coming in the month of August. The exact date is set to be August the 5th, which gives Samsung a plenty of time to release other good, interesting smartphones. Samsung is working on multiple mid range phones in the Galaxy A and M series. So this is a news regarding the Galaxy M51. It could rock Snapdragon 730 and up to 8 gigs of RAM. The M series is known for its affordable price. So this could be another smartphone that could go well in the mid-range slash budget market. Last but not the least, Samsung has finally pulled the string. The Galaxy Note 9 users as of now are getting the One UI 2.1 update. It brings some of the features of the Galaxy S20 series but not all of them like we have seen on the Galaxy S10 family, Samsung is still treating the Note 9 and S9 users a bit differently here. According to the software finding, we have features like quick share, music share, ability to create custom filters. Pro video recording is now back, which was originally removed with the One UI 1.0 update. There are some new additions to the AR. Overall, it's still a nice, nice upgrade for the Galaxy Note 9 family. And of course, it's going to come to the S9 Plus as well. So I'll definitely be doing an updated video soon uh, probably this week so that's all the news for today be sure to comment below about the whole ad situation that is going on with samsung if you think samsung should completely remove the ads on their galaxy phones or if you think that samsung should add at least an option for us to turn it off then be sure to slap a like because that is exactly what i feel subscribe to the channel if you're new here and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out